Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session today. The topic that we are going to discuss in our today's video is empty set. First, let us start with the basic definition of empty set. A set which does not contain any element is called an empty set. We can also see the other names for empty set. We call this as null set or void set. These are the two symbols we use to denote empty set. A curly parenthesis or this symbol. This symbol is called psi. Okay. Let me give you one example. Please consider this example. A is a set x such that x is a natural number less than 1. We know that there is no natural number less than 1. Am I right? Therefore, the set A contains no element and hence it is an empty set. Are you clear with this example? Great. Let us discuss about the empty set in detail. When can nothing be something? It seems uh, like a silly question. So, in mathematical field of set theory, it is a routine for nothing to be something other than nothing. So, how can this be? When we form a set with no elements, we no longer have nothing. So, we have a set with nothing in it. This is a special name for the set which contains no elements. This is called the empty or the null set. The definition of the empty set is quite subtle and it requires a little bit of thought. It is important to remember that we think of a set as a collection of elements. Am I right? The set itself is different from the elements that it contains. For example, if we look at this one, which is a set containing the element 5. This set 5 is not a number. It is a set with a number 5 as an element, whereas 5 is a number. Am I right? In a similar way, the empty set is not nothing. Instead, it is a set with no elements. Hope you are clear till this point. This helps to think of sets as containers and the elements are those things that we put in them. An empty container is still a container and is analogous to the empty set. Okay. Now let us discuss about the uniqueness of the empty set. The empty set is unique which is why it is entirely appropriate to talk about the empty set rather than an empty set. Okay, the empty set. It is not an empty set. This makes the empty set distinct from the other sets. There are infinitely many sets with one element in them. For example, the sets like A, 1, B, 1, 2, 3 each have one element and so they are equivalent to one another. Since the elements themselves are different from one another, the sets are not equal. There is nothing special about the examples that I have written on the board. Each set is having one element. With one exception, for any counting number or infinity, there are infinitely many sets of that size. The exception is for the number 0. There is only one set, the empty set with no elements in it. Okay. The mathematical proof of this fact is not that difficult. We first assume that the empty set is not unique, that there are two sets with no elements in them. And then we can use the few properties from the set theory and we can easily show that this assumption implies a contradiction. Okay, therefore empty set is always unique. Okay, now let us see the notation and terminology for the empty set. Let me add few more information about these terminologies. The empty set is denoted by the symbol Psi, which comes from a similar symbol in the Danish alphabet. Okay, some books refers to this empty set by its alternative name of null set. Okay, now let us see the properties of empty set. Properties of the empty set. Since there is only one empty set, it is worthwhile to see what happens when the set operations of intersection, union and complement are used with the empty set and a general set that will denote by x. And it is also interesting to consider subset of the empty set. And when is the empty set a subset, you, you can see the following facts that I am going to tell you. The intersection of any set with the empty set is the empty set. This is because there are no elements in the empty set and so the two sets have no elements in common. So symbolically we can write this as Hope you are clear with this point now. The intersection of any set with the empty set is the empty set again. Hope you are clear with this first property. Okay. Now let us move on to the second property. The union of any set with the empty set is the set we started with. 
ओके दिस इज बिकॉज देर आर नो एलिमेंट्स इन द एम्प्टी सेट एंड सो वी आर नॉट एडिंग एनी एलिमेंट्स टू द अदर सेट व्हेन वी फॉर्म द यूनियन सो दिस कैन बी रिटर्न सिंबॉलिकली इन दिस वे यूनियन ऑफ द सेट एक्स एंड द एम्प्टी सेट विल गिव यू द सेट दैट यू स्टार्टेड विद ओके नाउ द थर्ड प्रॉपर्टी इट इज अबाउट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ द एम्प्टी सेट इज द यूनिवर्सल सेट फॉर द सेटिंग दैट वी आर वर्किंग इन This is because the set of all elements that are not in the empty set is just the set of all elements. Am I right? Complement means you are just going to exclude that set from the universal set. In empty set, already we have no elements. Even if we exclude that empty set from the universal set, nothing, no element K is going to be excluded. Therefore, the complement of the empty set is the universal set. Hope you are clear with the with the third property. Now, fourth important property. the empty set is a subset of any set this is because we form subsets of a set x by selecting or not selecting elements from the set x one option for the subset is to use no elements at all from x so this gives the empty set again so the empty set is subset of any set now let us discuss few examples you may get questions like identify the empty set or you'll be given question in statement form you have to tell whether it is true or not so you'll be getting some basic questions only there won't be any tricky question under this topic empty set here are few examples first one is the set of dogs with six legs the common thing is a dog has four legs no so the topic or the scenario which explains which is not possible would be an example for empty set set of squares with five sides we know the property of square square is a four sided one so no chance for five side the set of cars with 20 doors a car cannot have a 20 cannot have 20 doors no so this is an impossible case the set of integers which are both even and odd which is not possible at all so you can set any example for empty set concept is which is not possible you cannot even have a single case in that let me give you an example for intersection we are going to see the property there the null set makes it possible to explicitly define the results of operations on certain sets that uh, would otherwise not be explicitly definable the intersection of two disjoint sets i mean two sets that contain no elements in common is the example for null set for example i have taken two sets 1 3 5 7 9 i mean the odd numbers and even numbers Uh, we all know that there is no number is common for both even and odd so the intersection would be empty hope this example is clear the null set provides a foundation for building a formal theory of numbers we can discuss uh, those things later in mathematics zero is defined as the cardinality that is the number of elements in the null set from the starting point mathematicians build the set on numbers i mean the natural numbers and sets of integers and rational numbers so obviously null set is the foundation for all the theories of uh, of any number hope you are clear with this concept empty set the empty set is a unique set which have no element in it its size is zero that is the number of elements is zero at some places it is called as null set but now null set is the concept of the mesh theory so it is also called as void set The concept of the empty set may look a little weird. Okay. In case if you have any query regarding this topic kindly let me know. You can frame your own example and post those examples in comment section. See you in the next video. Have a great